Hello, welcome to Digital Village in Clapham. We are looking at the uh, Moog Taurus pedals today. Okay, it's basic layout. On the left hand side, you've got the volume wheel, which is obviously nice and big. Use it with the same as on the right hand side, you've got a control wheel, which is, controls any of the parameters which you select by the buttons, but left to right. You've got the master switch and the preset switches. Masters for like MIDI control here, um, setup um, presets is for going through presets. On the left you have your oscillator section which is tuning and LFOs and so forth. On the right hand side you've got your filters. Um, each button has dual function which is selectable by this button here. Simple as that. So you can go between your, in this case, your waveforms and your, your sort of pitch shaping functions. So for instance, a cut off frequency here. Put it into the second mode, it becomes the arpeggiator that shot off. Okay, here we have um, the foot switches for such things as the classic uh, Taurus presets from the original Taurus. Also a bank uh, button for presets, um, transpose button, glide, decay and octave switches for quick editing on the fly. And obviously at the bottom you've got the, the keyboard which is obviously designed to be used with your foot, although you can actually play with your hands as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll um, go through a couple of presets and have a fiddle around and show you what we can do. So we're using the uh, wheel here to adjust this to the cut off. and attack for the shape of the cut off also you've got an amount that goes to the envelope which is pretty handy. This just is the, the pitch side of things, this is like the bass frequency. Tell on the camera how bass it is. Yeah, <laughs> it does sound rude. So there you go, I'm Rich from DV and Clapham, this is a Taurus Beno, it's here ready for you to play. Come down and have a go.